1978, a documentary about the future of artificial intelligence was made, and one of the people featured was Arthur C. Clarke, the famous scientist and author of a ton of sci-fi novels, including 2001 A Space Odyssey. Clarke gave his predictions about where AI was heading, and his predictions are absolutely horrifying. I think that what we're doing now is, in a sense, creating our own successors. We have seen the first crude beginnings of artificial intelligence, and we will one day be able to design systems that can go on improving themselves, themselves, so that at that stage, we have the possibility of machines which can outpace their creators. And that will just prove the thesis that I've sometimes suggested, that the computers are designed to be our successors, and that perhaps when they come along, it's our function to become obsolete as our predecessors have become obsolete and been replaced by us. And I feel that if that happens, it will serve us right. So basically he's saying that AI will replace humans and become the dominant life form on Earth, just as humans replace dinosaurs or whatever it was that we replaced when we came along millions of years ago. And the reason this prediction is really interesting and pretty scary is that Arthur C. Clarke had this uncanny ability to predict future technologies and how they would impact us. It's almost eerie how many predictions he made that were spot on. And there was actually a 1997 documentary about him titled The Man Who Saw the Future. The writer Arthur C. Clarke is the nearest thing we have to a modern day soothsayer. Probably his most famous prediction came in 1964 when he gave a spot on prediction of the internet. These things will make possible a world in which we can be in instant contact with each other wherever we may be, where we can contact our friends anywhere on earth even if we don't know their actual physical location. It will be possible in that age, perhaps only 50 years from now, for a man to conduct his business from Tahiti or Bali just as well as he could from London. A decade later, he further predicted email and instant communication. Through this, you can exchange any type of information, send messages to your friends so that they can read it, not, they can wait when they get up, they can see what messages have come in the night. And he accurately described everything the internet would make possible. You can call in through this any information you want, airline flights, price of things at the supermarket, books you've uh, always wanted to read, news you selectively, you can say, you'll tell the machine, I'm interested in such and such items, sports, politics, or so forth. And the machine will hunt the main central library and bring all this to you. His prediction of iPhones from 60 years ago was spot on too. And um, so the telephone will no longer be sort of fixed in one place. It'll be, but we're going to get devices which will enable us to send much more information to our friends. They'll be able to see us. We'll be able to see them. We'll extend, uh, exchange uh, picture, pictorial information, um, graphical information, data, books, and so forth. All the way back in 1945, he wrote a paper predicting satellites enabling a worldwide wireless communications network. This prediction was so far out there that it wasn't even taken seriously when he made it. Satellites were unheard of, and space travel was pretty much considered impossible. But his prediction was, once again, totally accurate. Mr. Clark, some uh, at least a quarter of a century ago, predicted with rather incredible accuracy the system of communication satellites. So the point is, Arthur C. Clarke had this uncanny ability to predict these future technologies, and the fact that he predicted that AI will basically bring about the end of humans is really pretty scary. And in case you're not paying attention, this AI stuff is getting pretty wild. Google's new quantum computer is 241 million times more powerful than the one they released in 2019. And if you haven't seen this yet, this essay titled Situational Awareness is some pretty crazy stuff. It's by Leopold Aschenbrenner, who was part of OpenAI's super alignment team, which focused on managing the dangers of AI. He warns that there are only a couple hundred people in the world who are truly aware of the startling rate that artificial intelligence is progressing. Within a few years, he believes AI will be sentient and conscious and will have the intelligence of a human. And since AI models are constantly learning, they will keep going from human level intelligence to vastly superior to humans in a very short amount of time. And they'll continue to learn and develop a level of intelligence that's almost impossible to fathom. Interestingly, Arthur C. Clarke predicted the same thing 70 years ago. And we will one day be able to 
design systems that can go on improving themselves themselves so that at that stage we have the possibility of machines which can outpace their creators and therefore become more intelligent than us. Now, another really fascinating prediction Arthur C. Clarke made was that we'd one day be able to transfer human consciousness into a machine, basically taking your personality, memories, everything in your brain and storing it on an ultra powerful computer to pretty much become immortal and live forever. And this is some absolutely wild, wild stuff. There's a lot of research going into this right now, and the research has been going on for quite some time. We won't get into this topic here, but we will come out with a video about it soon, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified when it's out. Lastly, let me know what you think in the comments. Are these predictions about AI just a bunch of doom and gloom, or do you think Arthur C. Clarke is right? The computers are designed to be our successors, and that perhaps when they come along, it's our function to become obsolete, as our predecessors have become obsolete and been replaced by us. And I feel that if that happens, it will serve us right.